Assalamualaikum and uh, welcome everyone. So this is a lecture on transplantation immunology. So first for transplantation immunology, we will start with uh, talking about the major histocompatibility complex or human leukocyte antigen. For introduction, the tissue or organ from another person is considered as a foreign antigen by the recipient. So this uh, will trigger the usual immune response, just how when our body responds to uh, antigen from pathogen or microbes, so the body also will respond with the same uh, mechanism to the foreign antigen from the uh, organ. The reason why tissues or organs from one individual destroyed when introduced into another person, this is a, we call as a transplantation, uh, transplant rejection. The tissues of the donor and the recipient uh, were incompatible between them. This incompatibility is caused majority by the MHC cluster of genes uh, named as a major histocompatibility complex or MHC which is also known as HLA in human and this, this MHC genes encode uh, proteins these proteins uh, which uh, act as uh, antigens determine if a tissue organ transplanted between two individuals either they will be accepted by the host or rejected by the host immune system so we begin with uh, what actually is MHC so this is the simplified organization of the major histocompatibility complex MHC or HLA in the human so MHC or HLA in human uh, divided into three classes so class 1, class 2 and class 3 so for class 1 they uh, will uh, appear or express in the cell membrane of all uh, nucleated cells as for class 2 they uh, express in the antigen presenting, presenting cells and for class 3 class 3 genes uh, actually genes they encode uh, the complement proteins and also majority of the cytokines so MSC major histo histo mean tissues compatibility mean uh, getting along so this is the gene that determine whether the tissue or organ between the recipient and the donor will get along or they will uh, be rejected by the host MAC or, or HLA is a group of genes within a long continuous stretch of DNA on chromosome 6 in humans these MSC genes will uh, produce uh, encode for the major histocompatibility antigens, which also known as self antigens. So we, we call this as self antigen because every individual will have uh, their own unique MSC uh, genes that will produce unique major histocompatibility. And these MSC antigens will be found on the membranes of all nucleated cells in the body of vertebrates. And they are known as MSC antigens. In human, they are also known as human leukocyte antigens or HLA. 
Second part, we will uh, have a brief, uh, brief uh, introduction on organ transplant. Organ transplant uh, refers to the act of transferring either cells, tissues, or organs from uh, one side to another. So it means either from one individual or one person, or even from the same individual, but we transferring it to another site. For example, a skin graft uh, from the back, skin on the back of a person transferred to different areas such as uh, face or uh, hands. The organ transplantation from a donor, this we're talking about organ that received from another human to a different person will be viewed as a foreign invasion by the recipient immune system. But organ transplant, even though uh, between uh, two individuals, will likely be rejected because they are viewed as a, uh, some sort of uh, same way as the body uh, see a pathogen but they are still perform organ tra transplantation still perform if it is the only possible treatment for a disease for example in the uh, kidney failure as the immune system will attack and reject any transplanted organ that does not recognize as self it is a seri uh, serious barrier to this potentially life-saving treatment. So, the uh, main reason for organ transplant actually is, is to save life. But the issue is that the uh, the host or the recipient immune system will still attack and reject the organ that was supposed to help. Uh, as a treatment to the recipient but they uh, still still will be performed and this immune response by the recipient can be suppressed by drugs but this type of treatment suppress all immune function so we can imagine that anything that suppress the immune function even though uh, they are actually performed to save life, but since we suppress the recipient immune function, so the host is no longer protected by its own immune system because uh, it was weakened by the drugs. And thus they will become exposed to infections. So we look on a brief history of organ transplant. So we focus on kidney transplant because they are the most, uh, we, uh, so called, the most uh, performed and the most popular kind of uh, organ transplant that perform all over the world. So the first human kidney transplant was attempted by a Russian surgeon Voronov, but. Uh, that uh, procedure uh, failed because uh, at that time they didn't uh, have uh, a complete knowledge on, on uh, uh, making sure that they, they didn't know that we need to mesh uh, the, uh, between the donor and recipient so there was a mismatch of blood types between donor and recipient so this incompatibility caused an almost immediate rejection of the kidney and the patient died two days after the uh, operation. The first uh, success successful human kidney transplant, so we're talking about uh, the one that without uh, rejection. So this uh, was done uh, 
between identical twins which uh, identical twins will have uh, identical HLA or MSC so they, they, should, they shouldn't be any rejection occurred uh, they, this was accomplished in Boston by uh, Murray so this is the first successful human kidney transplant looking on the current situation uh, if, we, if we focus in our country Malaysia uh, every year there, 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 there is estimated around 20,000 chronic kidney disease patients uh, remain on the waiting list for kidney transplants There are four types of organ transplant. So we have uh, autograph, isograph, allograph, and also xenograph. So the best would be autograph. Auto means self uh, transferring uh, tissues or cell or organs from the same individual to his own body. So this is a transplantation from self to self. So we expect 100% uh, uh, success rate because uh, there shouldn't be any uh, rejection by the immune uh, system because the immune system will recognize all the antigens as their own. For example, uh, in coronary artery bypass where artery from a different part of the body is uh, transplanted into the heart of the same patient. Second, we have uh, isograph. Iso means equal. So this is uh, talking about transplantation from identical twins. So identical twins is also uh, have they will uh, also have identical uh, HLA or MSC. So again, high or even 100% success rate because we didn't expect any rejection should occur. So example in uh, identical or also known as a monozygotic uh, twin transplantation. Third is allograph. So this is the most uh, commonly done between uh, the same species, human, but different individual. So, allo mean other, from one human to another. So, even though uh, it is between the same species, but they have a different uh, MAC, genetically different person to self, so they, are, they have a different genetic makeup. Example in kidney transplant from organ donor. And the fourth one, the, the, the xenograph or xeno mean foreign. So this is from different species to self. So this is uh, still under experiment. So for example, the, uh, transplanting uh, baboon heart into a patient. So for this uh, xenograph, uh, most of the time uh, they will have uh, acute rejection immediately because uh, the completely different uh, genetic makeup between the donor and recipient will trigger a vigorous uh, response from the recipient immune uh, immune system